Tactical Dreadnought armor, otherwise known as Terminators, have always been a staple of the Adeptus Astartes. Well, when you want ultimate survivability, but also fast movement, you go Tartarus Terminators. Anvil of War! Let's talk tactics! Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If you made it this far, be sure to go down and subscribe because we want you to see more videos in the future. Uh, to help, you know, to reward you for that, let's talk about these Terminators in front of me. Uh, Tartaros Terminators are one of the three brands of Terminators available to uh, Space Marine players. Uh, so you have your Cataphracti, your standard Terminator, and you got Tartarus. So Tartarus Terminators are a heresy era armor pattern. Uh, and the main difference with them to your standard uh, Terminator loadouts and stuff like that is these guys have a six inch movement. So these Terminators are six inch movement, strength four, toughness four, two wounds, two attacks, standard leadership, two up armor, and a five up invulnerable save. So they don't have that slow grind survivability that your Cataphracti do. Uh, but they also don't have the movement penalty. And same with your regular Terminators, they have six inch move instead of five, with the five up in Vuln. Uh, another major difference with these guys is they have a very limited weapon selection. Uh, so your base loadout you're looking at is a power fist and a combi bolter, so your standard. Uh, they cannot take Thunder Hammer, Storm Shields, uh, and combi weapons and things like that. They're limited to essentially uh, power swords, combi bolters, power fists, Lightning Claws, uh, I already said Combi Bolters, Heavy Flamers for their heavy weapon choices, or Reaper Auto Cannons, which is most of you are saying, that's heresy and chaos. It's not, it's just an old gun. Uh, sergeants, on the other hand, can take a little grenade pack, which if you do, I don't know why you would. Uh, you can also upgrade their gun to be a Volkite Charger, which is just basically a bad plasma gun. Uh, so that's something you can do. As you can see, I have two options I like to go with. Dual lightning claws across the board for everybody for lots of slashing, or power fist bolter for lots of shooting and punching. Uh, that's sort of where their sweet spots are. So let's start, let's save the best for last, and let's talk about combi bolter power fist. Uh, they're terminators, so they teleport. The combi bolter is a bolter weapon, so you get bolter discipline, so these guys can drop in even outside 12 inches or even move or whatever, and they always double tap their combi bolter, so you're always getting those uh, rapid fire shots. You're always getting your four shots, uh, which is nice because it's a lot of strength for shooting. Uh, it's really effective of cutting down a screen. Uh, the Reaper auto cannon is an auto cannon that shoots more. Uh, it is heavy, so you will get that minus one to shoot if you move. So when you tell the turn, you teleport them in you are getting minus one to shoot with that. It's just sort of the nature of the beast. The other option is the heavy flamer. Um, I don't have a heavy flamer on them because I only run the heavy weapons with the shooting squad and the shooting squad stays back. The power fists are just a cheap option to protect them if something happens. Uh, if an opponent runs up on you with something tougher, you at least have the power fist. You can crush most things with that. Um, they do have the uh, shock assault rule, so they will get an additional attack if they're charged and so on and so forth. The power fist is minus one to hit. Keep that in mind. Uh, like I said before, save the best for last. My preferred loadout, the one I'm most familiar with, the one I run the most of, is twin lightning claws. Um, with Raven Guard, it's a fluffy choice. Uh, the Tartarus armor and the claws look really good. They're not really the talons. They come off the back, kind of got a Wolverine vibe going on them. Uh, they look good, they feel good, you get an extra attack, so your standard dudes are putting out three attacks, base, four attacks on the charge, your sergeant has his three attacks, plus the lightning claw, plus the charge, so five attacks. Um, it's a lot of swinging. They're hitting on threes, but if you're synergized upright, if you say have, oh, I don't know, a chaplain dreadnought, that chanted reroll all failed hits in melee that you then shadow stepped up behind your terminators. Um, that will help them reroll all failed to hits. If you don't know what I'm talking about, feel free to tune in on the Let's Talk Tactics uh, Venerable Chaplain Dreadnought and you'll learn all about those synergies. Uh, 
if you want to otherwise teleport in a, a Captain and Terminator armor. Just pair them up with them, run on in. Don't bother putting a Lieutenant with them. And I'll say that because Lightning Claws let you reroll all fail to wounds. So the Lieutenant would literally not help you at all. So rerolling ones to wound is not as good as rerolling all fail to wounds. So don't do it. It's a waste of points. And he can be elsewhere with your snipers. Um, they are a tough beat stick unit, but they are very expensive. That is their number one drawback is this unit is very, very expensive. Um, you want to use them carefully and you want to position them and drop them in in a situation where they will get their points back. Um, if you put them someplace and they fail their, their charge, um, you're in a bad way uh, because they're vulnerable. They are just Terminators and in the current uh, play meta floating around, they're not very popular and there's a lot of stuff designed to kill uh, Toughness 4 2 wounds. It's just the way it is. There's a lot of two damage weapons. There's a lot of strength five out there. They will get shredded. Um, ways you can avoid that is if you're Raven Guard, and let's say you know you're not going to make a charge or you want to play a bit positionally, drop them into cover. If they're more than 12 inches away, they're still infantry. They will become minus one to hit. Um, another cheeky thing you can do with them is there is a stratagem, see but remain unseen. Uh, if you did not fire a weapon on your turn, you pay a CP and your squad is now minus one to hit. Uh, so they have opposing players have to subtract one from their hit roll. So if you're in cover, you're minus one. If you did not shoot, which lightning claws are not ranged weapons, you become an additional minus one to hit. So it is a good way to protect them if you're you know, staggering up the board or defending a position or things like that, not quite ready to get them in for combat. You can protect them that way. Uh, two of armor does go as far as it can go. In cover, it helps. But otherwise, um, you want to have a way to get them into combat. So if you're running a small squad, five or six guys, you can put them in a Storm Raven or another transport. Um, if you're teleporting them in, try to have something with them that lets them reroll charges. Unfortunately, um, with the rules as they are currently written, uh, Shrike does not let them reroll charge rolls. They are not... Uh, Vanguard, Phobos, or um, Jump Pack units, so he won't be able to synergize with them. Keep that in mind, uh, because they're sort of standalone in that regard when it comes to wanting to rush into melee. Um, they are very good at holding objectives, specifically the Combi Bolter ones. Like we said earlier, they have some rain, they have their 24 inch shooting that's always double tapping. Uh, you can protect them, things like that. Once you're stuck in combat, there are a few ways you can do it. Lalo the Tyrants is the stratagem that will increase their damage against characters. Um, any sort of uh, Gene Rot Might is a really good one. It's uh, hit rolls of a six automatically wound. So that's pretty cool. Uh, being able to fight again, so on and so forth. Your typical uh, melee stratagems and strategies are what you're going to want to use these guys for. Um, I feel there's a lot of hate for Terminators because uh, they are very expensive and they don't always perform well. But if you're sneaky and clever and play with them well, they can really, really work for you. Um, one option too is if you find you're not putting out enough damage, uh, Raven Guard, again, have a stratagem called False Flight. What this does is you pay your two CP, it's a bit pricey, your unit can then fall back and then charge a different unit, um, which will proc your, um, your Shock Assault again. So you will eat some overwatch, assuming that they're not already engaged, so on and so forth, but it does let you sort of redirect them or get more attacks. If you're playing White Scars and you're running your Tartarus Terminators, you don't have to worry about that because you can fall back and charge as many times as you want thanks to their tractor tactic. Um, Iron Hands, they really fit the aesthetic, I guess, like the tough, durable, like, marching guys. They're not vehicles, but other than that, I mean, eh. Uh, Salamanders, there's a lot of rerolling already built in, especially with the twin lightning claws and things like that, so their stratagem is not going to help you the most. But they do ignore minus one AP weapons, which will help keep your two up intact. Um, as for other chapters, um, Ultramarines falling back and shooting doesn't really apply to this style of loadout. Um, it's like combi bolters and falling back and shooting, is, you, know, you kind of want to stay stuck in and beat things to death with your fists. Um, but yeah, like I said, for, for Raven Guard, I love the Lightning Claws. I love the, the fluffy aspect of that. 
the potential dealing damage. The Horus Heresy armor makes sense to an extent if you're familiar with like the, the lore about the Deliverers and things like that. I won't get into that because it's you're not here for that. You're here for them and they're here for you if you want some really good Terminators. Thanks for tuning in. Sponsored by... <laughs>